22 veterans a day commit suicide. Uh, it's a shocking number, and a lot of regular people commit suicide. But veterans is my business. That's why we have the Common Ground Veterans Initiative. Anyway, this is a, this is a touchy subject for me. I think it's an unacceptable number, and I think the VA sucks. Um, and that's just my opinion, but... Uh, you know, someone's called the Suicide Overs. I wanted to be a Marine since I was a kid. I mean, I always did. I always look at my papa's pictures and stuff and he'd tell war stories. And then basically, when 9-11 occurred, that was the day I signed up and then I went and swore in, you know, a couple days later. That's how it happened. It was just an instant decision. The enemies you can fight will come to know your skill and bravery. The people you liberate will witness the honorable and decent spirit of the American military. The first tour we were over there, we were sitting in Kuwait, um, and these tankers, we were attached to first tanks, or actually second tanks, and uh, they could bring cool stuff over in their tanks, you know, a little storage area, and somebody had a guitar. Should have fallen down in country Instead I write these stupid songs For all these people that I don't know And they don't know me But I'm just picking for the hustle The next big ticket down the rail To feed my son and soothe my soul I'm not a prophet Follow me and I dry your eyes Bury my guns deep beneath my lies Soon we'll all be quartered out and sized mm Towards the middle of that tour of Ramadi, I started to really have an issue with the way we were handling things. If you tell, start bitching to your men about it, you're just a useless squad walking around. You might as well put flowers on the end of your rifles and just walk around. Because if they're not bloodthirsty, then uh, there's no point in taking them out every day. You're just going to get them killed. So I'd use my guitar as an outlet you know, to, to bitch and complain uh, about the way things were going. And this way, the, the boys aren't hearing me. Uh, talk trash about about the war and, and about the administration we were under. Ten years down and it ain't over. We're still shipping bodies home. What's the point in finding cover when you get home with a six string and a gun? Pissing on the Constitution, I'm gone. Blood donor to the revolution, son. You know, when we got back, I just wanted to get on with my life and, and try to live with all the stuff I'd done. And what happened was, once we started hitting the road and started sharing this music, um, I suddenly became this, this guy that all these vets wanted to talk to, uh, to talk them through things and, you know, get advice or whatever. So it just turned into something real powerful, man. And then when that ha once that happens, man, once you decide that, that you care about these people, you're married to it forever, you know?
Now I'm a killer I'm a killer I'm a killer A killer of men Oh, I'd rather be a killer than a no good fair weather friend. My biggest hope for all this music and all this stuff we do and all this, you know, change we try to make is that people can listen to my music and see a painted picture of A, what you're gonna have to do if you go over there and the things that you're gonna encounter and B, what you live with for the rest of your life after you do it. If you can listen to music or watch a film and educate yourself and know what, you know these horrors of war without having to go do it. That's the mission, man, that's the mission. Oh, I'd rather be a killer than a no good fair weather friend.